I'm curious, oh, he's smacking me in the face. I'm curious how heavy this thing is, but I wouldn't be confident enough to do that unless I thought I packed this thing pretty well. Hey, what's up everyone, Danny here. In this video, I'm gonna show you the process of how I'm gonna pack a fully built and assembled computer uh, to be shipped across the United States. This is gonna go from uh, Seattle to Florida. So that's basically one corner of the US to the other. So we gotta make sure this gets there safely. Now, last year I made a video showcasing how to pack like individual components, basically everything except for the PC case uh, for shipping. But this one's gonna be a bit different because it's all assembled now. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. So what I'm going to do now is uh, hook it up and then turn it on and then open up the side panel to show you everything is in good working order and then we're going to get to packing it. Uh, it's not the prettiest thing in the world because it's an OEM tower but uh, everything works fine and uh, I did replace the hard drive uh, because the original system came with a 250 gigabyte hard drive which uh, it was still working but it's kind of small so I got him a uh, Hitachi either a desk star or uh, an ultra star I think uh, I scanned the whole drive made sure to look for uh, any bad sectors all that good stuff and it checks out so it's good to go so let me shut this down and let's get to packing it I'm gonna go through and check all the screws again and make sure they're torqued down uh, as tight as possible because uh, during transportation if there is vibration they can come undone All right, everything is good to go. So I'm gonna close it back up. So not all PCs are gonna be shipped like this, fully built and assembled with nothing taken apart. It's gonna depend and vary from situation to situation and what's in the PC. I think this is safe to go as is because as you saw, the cooler is basically a stock Dell uh, OEM one. So it's pretty lightweight. And I don't think that's gonna be going anywhere. And this uh, GTX 660, it's actually very lightweight. It's not that long or wide either. So I don't think it will be a problem to leave it in there. But if it was a larger graphics card, uh, I would have either taken it out or probably stuffed stuff inside of it. Uh, so that it doesn't shift around and has the ability to basically bend out of place and stuff um, But yeah, so let's go over the uh, Shipping materials that I have gathered for this. Yeah, I'm gonna be double boxing this because if you, I think that's the safest way to ship a computer uh, It just gives more layer of protection and more layers of uh, like impact and uh, cushioning absorption material But the first box we're gonna go with is this Zalman uh, like a micro ATX or we call it a mini tower, but it was actually a micro ATX tower. So this is a little bit larger than the PC itself. So we're gonna put it in here, surround it on all sides with cushioning. Then we're gonna put that box into the BitPhoenix Nova TG box and then surround that with all sides of cushioning. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line the bottom layer uh, and then I'm gonna put the PC in and then line all the sides and then get the top. I'm gonna wrap it in this bag first though, so uh, regardless of the packing situation around it, when he pulls it out and takes it out of the bag, it should be pristine. So I've thought ahead and I've saved a lot of packing materials from Amazon. So, you know, all these bow bags and stuff, but uh, if you don't think ahead or if you didn't know that you were gonna have to ship something out soon, the recycling bin is like the perfect place to get stuff because uh, assuming that you keep it clean, you know, like you rinse out your bottles and stuff, a lot of this material, uh, it is compressible and pretty elastic. So uh, it does have some give to it so that, you know, it would be kind of soft and uh, bouncy. For the bottom layer, I'm gonna put a bunch of bubble wrap uh, bags and packaging that I've got. So we've got a decent three to four layers of bubble bag and bubble wrap down there. So I'm gonna put the PC in now. Now I just need to pack the sides and I'm gonna use uh, things like some of these egg carton things from Costco. I also have this box of uh, Hot Pockets. <laughs> Okay, so here is a look at the first box. So we had the bubble sheets on the very bottom. In the front, we have some pop pockets. Uh, on the side, we have the 
egg cartons, and then on the back I did some bubble bags. For the top layer, I'm just gonna go with some of these Amazon bubble packets. It lays in there just perfectly. And now I'm gonna close it up and tape it off. So this box is ready to go, and we're gonna basically do the same thing in the bigger box. How am I gonna line this one? I'm not sure if I can fit this. I don't know if I can fit this in with this though, let's see. So I put it right at the very bottom, and I'm gonna try to put this in on top of it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with these bottles on the very bottom layer. So this is very simple. We're gonna put these bottles down here. All right, and you can't, I'm not sure if you can tell from the video, but I'm bouncing up and down on this and it is providing a lot of cushion. So I got some more bubble wrap. It's gonna line all the sides. And the last thing we do is pull this over, tuck it in. I think we're good to go. All right, I actually need to make sure that I did not forget to put anything in here because it's gonna be a pain to try to open back up. So I got the power cord, got the computer. I think that was it. Actually, I lied. Uh, I'm gonna throw in some of these business cards because this is the closest thing to merch that I have. So yeah, sorry, you don't get a teacher or anything. You get some basically promo materials. But yeah, I'll put these in here as well. Put it right here. All right, time to do a shake test. So there's nothing scientific about this test at all. You shake it and you determine if you are comfortable with shipping it. That's about all it goes, but you wanna make sure there's nothing jiggling around in there. And yeah, I feel like there's an adequate amount of cushioning in the two layers. And then you play catch with the two you want. Like, that's how confident you are. Oh, what time is it? Okay, I can still make it to UPS. So let's go do that, get this shipped out. And uh, the winner can get SBC. Will be 10 minutes. All right. Doesn't look like there's anybody in there. Good old UPS. How are you? Good. I need to ship this out. Okay. Yeah. Is it cool if I keep recording? I'm like kind of like vlogging right now. No. No. I, I'm not the manager, so I don't, I don't want anything. To All right. Yeah. Denied. He didn't let me record, or I asked him if I could record. And he was like, "Oh, I'm not sure. The manager might not like it." So then uh, I turned off the camera. But guess how much it costs to ship that out? Thirty dollars. Not $30, it was $76.94. I'm not sure if that's focusing on camera, but it's for a computer that I built for $130.
But I think it's worth a little bit more than that. It's probably worth like 200, 250. All right, that's gonna wrap up for this video. So hope you all enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments if you have ever shipped anything out before, like a full PC uh, using, you know, either UPS or FedEx or whatever, what your experience was with that and how you packed it. I just did what I thought made sense. Uh, if you had any tips for the method that I use, uh, let me know in the comments below as well. Uh, but other than that, thank you as always for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, to the winner of the PC, congrats. Hope you enjoy it. And I will see the rest of you in the comments as well as in the next video. Bye.